Hi there. Welcome to this math strategy video. We're going to show you how to solve different problems. Today, we're going to look at multiplying by doubling and halving for 4 times and 5 times. We're going to try 4 problems. 4 times 6, 4 times 9, 5 times 8, and 5 times 13. We'll use unifix cubes and place value cubes to do this. Let's get started. To solve any multiplication problem that involves 4, there's actually a really simple method. For example, if we were going to do 1 times 4, we know that that's 4. Pretty straightforward. So we know that if I have my 1 cube there, and I double it, that gives me 2. So I know I've got 2 there, and if I double that again, it gives me 4. So if we double any number, and then double it again, that's actually finding our 4 times tables. So if we extend this to our number 6, we know that double 6 is 12. So 6 times 2 equals 12. We know that. And then if we double 12, two more 6's, we know that 12 times 2 or double 12 is 24. So 4 times 6 is 24. In this problem, we have 4 times 9. So let's start with our 9 and double that. So 9 times 2 equals 18. So then we're going to do double that again. 18 times 2. Now this will be a bit trickier, but we know double 10 is 20, and double 8 is 16, so we know that double 18 is 36. So 4 times 9 equals 36. There's also a trick that we can use when we're multiplying by 5. Sure, we could count by 5s because we know that pretty easily, but 5 is half of 10. So if we find what 10 times 8 is in this question and find half of that, we can solve that quickly. But lucky for us, 10 times 8, as we can see, as 1 10, 2 10, 3 10, 4 10, 5 10, 6 10, 7 10, or 8 10s, or as we all know, 10 times 8 equals 80. We know that half, which is 40, is 5 times 8. Our last problem here is a little bit more difficult. We can easily figure out that 10 times 13 is 130, but when we're trying to find half of 130, it's a little more difficult because 13 doesn't go evenly into 2. So let's look at 110 less. We know that half of 120 would be half of 12 tens is 6 tens, so that equals 60, and that, that extra 10, half of that 10 is 5. So half of 10 is 5, so half of 130 is 65. So 5 times 13 is 65. I hope that helped. After I'm done talking, I'm going to put up some problems on the screen for you to practice. Pause the video and try the problems. When you're done, unpause the video and check your answers. If you don't understand something in this video, go back and watch parts of it again. You can use the timestamps on the bottom of the video to find the different problems.